Hello out there. So this is our first attempt at a video and today we're doing um, coffee soap. So we made some coffee in the French press early this morning and stuck it in the fridge. There you see the jar and it's already poured into the container and we're gonna see how it turns out. Gonna make some soap. Yay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first, I've already weighed out my oils. I've got uh, olive oil, coconut oil, and a little bit of shea butter in here. And then we're going to be adding our coffee lye mixture. And uh, I pour it right down the stick blender so that there's not as many air bubbles uh, in it as we mix. I'm gonna mix that in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it with my stick blender until we get a really light trace on it. And then we'll do our coloring. Uh, there's not much coloring in this because the coffee really gives it a good, good flavor. I mean, a good smell and a good good color so we're gonna just uh, kind of go off of that but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stick blend and you can see how it's starting to turn brown like the color of coffee and we'll do that until we uh, get a light trace on this and this is our first attempt at coffee soap so we don't know how fast it's gonna trace so we're just gonna keep going and, and tracing is tracing is when you pull up your stick blender and it drips in there it leaves traces of your your uh, soap batter so it's starting to thicken is basically what it is. And make sure we've got all the oils blended in um, with the lye water. And that'll take us just a few minutes. Okay, so we're just about done with the really light trace. As you can see, it leaves a little mark. You can see we're completely, completely blending the oil and the lye water together. It doesn't look like they're separated at all. So that's a good place to, to stop so that it doesn't get too thick before we pour. And uh, we'll get all this into the soap and we'll start mixing our colors. Um, and like I said, not many colors today or smells because it's gonna give out a great smell of coffee. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of this. I've got some, some um, white coloring here, which is titanium dioxide. I'm gonna pour a portion of that into my That's going to lighten up the brown a little bit. And then I'm going to pour a little bit into this cup as well. So we're going to have three different levels of brown basically so we can swirl them in our pot. And that's kind of where I'm going to go with this. Make three different colors and just kind of swirl, pot, do a pot swirl and get them into our molds. Um, I need to mix these up. You can see the color here as we added a little bit of titanium dioxide. It's getting a little bit lighter. I'm going to add more um, because I think we need to get a little bit. We need to get a little bit more uh, a lighter color, I think. And so I'm going to try to put a little bit more in there. And we'll mix that in. And I know there's some on the bottom there. I'll get a spoon and we'll try to scrape that out as well. As you can see it now, it looks like coffee with cream in it. So we've got a little different color there. And then I'll use that to get the white off the bottom. I'll come over here and we're gonna mix this one as well. This has a little bit of titanium dioxide as well, but it will probably just do a little different color so we, we, can, we can tell the difference between the three, the, the three browns. And this one probably needs just a little bit more as well. So we'll put a little bit more titanium dioxide. If we put a lot of titanium dioxide, then we would end up with a white, basically a white uh, batter. And that's kind of not what we're going for right now. We're kind of trying to get light, a little, just different tinges of brown. So we mix it up really well. And like I said, we're not gonna put any or any smells in this, and we're gonna to try to see if this coffee will basically do the job for us. So we've got three different color browns, as you can tell, um, and we're gonna mix these in a in the container and then pour them into our um, molds. Okay, so we've got all of our colors like we want them. Uh, three different types of browns here. Um, we did put a little bit of cinnamon essential oils in there, some doTERRA essential oils, cinnamon. 
um, to give it just a kind of a cinnamon coffee uh, smell to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we call an in bowl swirl. So I'm going to put a couple of, uh, just go around this a few times in no particular order really, just like that. And then I'm going to take the other, other color as well, the lighter color. And I'm going to also do the same thing, just kind of give it a little bit of circular motion and different motions there. And what will happen is it will start to swirl. So we have to do that a couple of times. That's why I don't pour it all the way. But as you'll see, when we go into the mold, we start pouring into the mold, you'll see it's making a swirl. You can see in there. So that's kind of what we wanted from this. And so we're going to keep that going. And for now, that's probably good enough. And then we'll do the other molds. I'm going to pour some more of these, probably a little bit more of these to give it just a little bit different color for the next one. A little bit more of that. And a little bit more of this lighter color as well. And it'll give us some coffee colors. And I can smell the coffee right now, and it smells really good. So, and then we can uh, fill up our other molds once we get these two molds in place. You can see how it swirls inside, so we don't have to do any real swirling to it. Like sometimes we like to swirl it while it's in the mold, but I think this does a really good job like this. And we get the colors we want and the swirling that we want just by moving around. And put a little bit more in there so we get those colors still. You can tell as we pour, the bottom of the pour always tends to get the the, uh, the color that is in the main bowl so that the, these colors kind of stay on top a little bit and that's how we get these swirls and so uh, you gotta sometimes you've got to just keep adding a little bit more to it so you can kind of see what they, the, dir the direction they're going now and that's, those are beautiful um, and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pour the rest of these in there and we're going to fill up our other molds Okay, what we did is we turned this around so it'd be easier to pour, but we're going to pour them in our, our rectangular molds here as well. And maybe we'll have a little left over so we can make some little hearts as, uh, as well out of this. But we'll fill it up as much as we can without making it too difficult to handle. Um, and it, see, as you can see, the swirls are still there. And we'll probably get about 20... 5, 26 pieces of soap out of this uh, one and basically the, the the amount of oils we use is about 60 60 ounces and we add our lye water which is 21.8 ounces of coffee at the, in this point usually it's uh, aloe, aloe vera water um, and then eight and a half usually uh, ounces of um, lye sodium hydroxide and there you have your swirls. Uh, you're welcome if you want at some point to swirl it by using a, a tool. You can do that. Sometimes it comes out really nice if you do that. But I think these have beautiful colors and shapes as they are. And what we'll do in the end here is I take these and I, I'll smack them on the ground a few times to get to get the, the air bubbles out of it to make sure we don't have any air bubbles inside these this molds. And that's about it. What we're going to do is we're going to let it sit. We're gonna let it sit for about 18 to 24 hours and then tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow afternoon, we'll pull them from the molds and we'll cut them and then they've got a cure for, oh, about uh, four to six weeks. Anyway, that's our first attempt at coffee soap. Alrighty, it's about 24 hours and we need to get the soaps out of the mold. Actually pretty simple, but it's so nice to see the different designs that come out you know from these especially when we uh, don't know what the inside looks like you can see the coffee that's on top we did a little swirl um, to kind of get the coffee through instead of have it just be um, sitting on top nice. so that's what the loaves look like and then we'll get ready to cut them. 
Alrighty, getting ready to cut the molds and we'll see what the inside looks like. And we just got a single cutter, so you can only cut one piece at a time. And well, it's got the swirls, but it's a little light. So next time we'll end up maybe um, putting a little darker color in it. And I think as it, uh, as it dries, it's gonna become darker. So let's see what the second cut looks like. Yeah, you can see it's still just a light color. It's two-toned rather than three-toned. So our darkest one isn't really showing up too well, but it smells really good. And probably if you fill your bathtub with Baileys and <laughs> wash with this, it would be really good. <laughs>